And we begin tonight with new images showing the destruction caused by the fawn fire burning north of Reading. This video just into the KCRA 3 newsroom showing the fire burning homes in Shasta County. Thousands of people are under evacuation orders tonight. Thousands more being told they need to be ready to leave at a moment's notice. It's pretty horrible this morning. Yeah, I had three buildings burned down. Well, the fawn fire started yesterday afternoon just south of Shasta Lake. It has burned 5,500 acres and it's 5% contained. About 4,000 people have been evacuated. 30,000 people are under evacuation warnings. Crews say buildings have been destroyed, but it's too early to tell how many or what type. And we wanted to show you this. Here's some time lapse video of the fire taken earlier tonight in the foreground. All those lights on the ground. That's the city of Reading. But even though this is still a good distance away, you can still see the fire in the distance. And we want to go live now to KCRA 3's Melanie Wingo. She is near Reading right now. And Melanie, you talked to some folks about how they're dealing with this fire threat. Yes, as with many of the fires we have covered over this summer, we did encounter some people who chose to stay and defend their property despite evacuation orders. And of course, despite Cal Fire crews urging those folks to leave. As for the fire activity itself, it has calmed down just a little bit in the area where we are tonight, but there are still fire crews behind me hard at work making sure these flames lay down overnight. An early evening flare up on the fawn fire. Keeping an eye on the fire coming through this way. After a nerve wracking day watching flames creep ever so close to where Greg Bruce's cattle graze. We have a couple hundred head of cattle. We they graze out through here and we feed them it in the evenings. Greg trying to check on a couple dozen more cattle that graze on a piece of land not far from where we caught up with him. Our cattle are about where that fire is picking up right over there and uh, I'm trying to get some of this hay over to him right now. The cows safe on Union School Road, unfazed as smoke billowed above. On another part of Old Oregon Trail Road, Jeremy Wright spent the whole day protecting his home and business. Tractor, and we had every hose we could find going and raking and whatever we could do with what we had. Giving it their all, but still suffering a loss. I had three buildings burned down, but saved the big shop in the house. In his 20 plus years living here, fires never burning this close. We've always had them kind of go around Bear Mountain or go around there, but never, never like this. We knew it was coming though, because it was so thick. And he's not letting down his guard just yet. I'm going to stay here to make sure my house doesn't burn down. And so, Melanie, let's talk about some of the crews uh, here. Do, are we seeing crews that have dealt with some of the other fires also dealing with this one now? Yes, in fact, Brandy, we have spoken with some of the crews who were not only on the Caldor fire, they've also fought the Dixie fire through many weeks this summer. I spoke with a bulldozer crew up here that is contracted out with Cal Fire. They were saying that they have been hard at work. They were defending some of the homes in South Lake Tahoe, and now they were out here this evening. And what they were doing is bulldozing a line so that Cal Fire crews could then take their heavy equipment into closer to the flames and battle the flames with the help of that bulldozed line. So it's definitely a team effort. But what I had heard from this uh, this contract uh, bulldozer crew guy is there's no rest for the weary this summer with the fires burning in Northern California. Yeah, really one after another for those guys out there. Thanks for that, Melanie. Well, in the meantime, a Bay Area woman is under arrest and charged with arson for a fire in the same general area as the Fawn Fire. Yeah, Cal Fire's identified this person as 30-year-old Alexandra Suverneva of Palo Alto. She was arrested late yesterday. Workers in the area reported seeing the woman earlier in the day. They described her as acting irrationally. Now, just to be clear, we do not know what connection, if any, she has to the Fawn Fire. Cal Fire says that the woman was dehydrated, she needed medical attention, and was later booked into the Shasta County Jail.